It's going to be a good session. You want to sit down. I've been having some banter with the two speakers up next, and I think it's going to be quite good fun. Okay, so we talked about, what did we talk about to start? We talked about out of home and luxury brands. We then diversed into AI and how to use AI in your advertising campaigns. So another topic that you guys all requested this year was to learn more about how to really utilize social media campaigns, particularly across the Latin American region, and how you turn likes into impactful marketing techniques. So to take us there and to give us a duo presentation, our first one in this room, it is Leslie Kosh, who is the Director of Social Strategy for Turner. Come on up, Leslie, don't be shy. <laughs> well, that's right, yes, come on. And Rebecca Pointer Murray, who is Head of Commercial Product for CNN International, yes. Okay, yeah. ladies, I will leave it with you to take it away. Great, thank, thank you. you so much. Uh, I'm Leslie. Hi, I'm Rebecca. And we are going to show you today how you can connect emotionally with your audience via social media, driving true brand impact. Oh. If it moves. Oh, <laughs> yes. OK. <laughs> so we've worked together on over 700 social campaigns at Turner in the past two years. Um, and when we kick off with a new partner, what we ask them is, how do you make consumers love your brand the way our fans love our content? Right, and the reason why we say that you can see by an array of all of our content on here, but you know whether it's working with Anderson Cooper or Cartoon Network, um, Samantha B, all of our shows have such huge brand impact and resonance. And working, we really leverage with our storytellers, whether it's our talent, our shows, our people. We use our 200 plus social handles to actually build brand content with our partners and take advantage of all the content that we have to drive uh, brand impact with those audiences. <laughs> and we, at this point, are pretty much experts. Um, we've been, as Turner, we've been in Latin America since 1993. As hopefully some of you already know, we're the number one TV network across Latin America. We also have over 800 million social fans. Um, we're the number one social media network across everything, every single social platform for CNN. Um, and we have 136 million social fans in Latin America for Turner's portfolio. Um, hopefully, some of you might have already worked with us. But if you haven't, how do you work with us? We recently launched a new consultative unit called T1 which is connecting international advertisers across Asia, Europe, Latin America, and you can work and partner with us on brand campaigns uh, across the world globally or also regionally. Okay, so we're gonna tell you a bit more about our process at Launchpad. Um, so the first thing we do is define the target. So obviously agencies and brands come to us and they say, we want to reach men 18 to 54 with an interest in sports. Um, so that's great, that demographic targeting, but we want to go beyond that. So we want to find out what their passions are, what their interests are, what kind of content will resonate with them on social media. Um, so we use a variety of our different tools. Um, again, we've had 700 campaigns, so we have a lot of learning about what works. Um, we also have artificial intelligence tools that can help uncover insights. Um, so the first step, once we gain these insights, we partner really closely with the creative teams. So we're going to show you a case study from CNN International for Costa Rica Tourism. Um, but we also partner with our different studios. So in Latin America, we have Innovations, which is in the house right here. Um, and in, hi. <laughs> um, and in London, we have a team called Create, which creates content for CNN International. And in New York, we have Courageous. So we really partner with our, our global um, creatives to help drive their process. Um, and then finally, when we do deploy the content, when we actually launch it from social, we have a team of activation experts that optimizes the campaign every four hours. So it definitely helps that we have teams in New York, in London, uh, Chicago, and Los Angeles. Um, and then finally, we measure and optimize. So basically, um, every campaign at the end, we make sure that we reach the audience that we intended to. Uh, and we do make sure that we hit all of those metrics that we promised. So our goal is really to maximize engagement. It's not just driving impressions, but really driving interaction with your audience. Now we've got a video to show that. Thank you. <laughs> When it comes to reaching your target audience in a smart, streamlined, effective way, we now have Liftoff. Introducing Launchpad from Turner, 
As 680 million fans know, Turner has made a name in creating great stories. And with that kind of following comes major social media reach, which means we can now help our fans become your brand's fans. Launchpad combines data from our audiences and social to reveal new insights. That's what helps us find the sweet spot for your branded content. There are 1 billion people worldwide consuming social media every day. That means there's an explosion of information to understand. So to make individual social media interaction easier to quantify and qualify, Launchpad allows Turner to create tribes, which are groups of like-minded people. Then we can see what topics, keywords, and interests tribes care about and share for not only Turner, but for your brand too. With this information, we create branded content that resonates with the audience you are trying to reach. That's a lot of information to digest. So let's just take a quick break and check out Conan's Clueless Gamer. Just tell them, what, what do you fear about Conan O'Brien? Um, absolutely nothing. <laughs> There you are, and... There I am getting moisturizer. Hold on. Do they feel that? Do they feel that? Wait a minute. I can't help it. Let's look at this. Back hook. Oh, see the neck? Oh, you broke my neck. That's me after three beers. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's UFC 2. It comes out March 15th. This one's a keeper. <coughs> that was a branded content segment for UFC 2. With Launchpad, we can determine if a certain audience would like that piece of content based on their social media behavior. And we can deliver Conan's clip directly to their newsfeed via a Turner handle. That's some real time results. That content can then organically spread throughout the tribe's social network, which leads to the crown jewel of online content, going viral. That's how brands benefit by using social as a testing ground to create the best content for the right audiences. So that's a quick look at how Turner can tap into social behaviors and leverage our 680 million fans to create content for your brand's overall success. It's as simple as that. After all, this isn't rocket science. It's Launchpad. Great. Um, so one thing you'll notice in this video, it said 680 million social fans across all of our Turner properties. Um, we have over 200 properties around the world on social. Um, one thing to note, actually now we have over 800 million. So we're growing very quickly our audiences around the world. There we go. Um, and we are the number one um, media company for driving engagement to our branded content on social media. So we have some stats here. This is from Listen First, which is a leading social analytics company. So they looked at all branded content posts on Facebook for last year, and they found that the top uh, four of the top five properties were actually owned by Turner. So they drove the most engagements, the most likes, comments, and shares to their social content. Um, so we have a pretty deep bench um, from sports, Bleacher Report, NBA on TNT, and then in Brazil, forgive my pronunciation, I'm looking at the Brazil team, Esporte Interactivo. OK, muy bien. Um, <laughs> and uh, we also have news. So we have CNN, Great Big Story. And we have entertainment, so Adult Swim, Cartoon Network, and our different TNT, TBS properties. Um, so as I mentioned before, we're really concerned not with just generating the most impressions possible, but in getting really quality engagements. Um, so we do want to drive that interaction with our audiences. And because of that, we're leading in emotion. So Almost like a crystal ball a few years ago, we really started focusing on how are we making premium environments uh, for brands um, and focusing on social and audiences across social. Um, so we really spent a lot of work um, moving away from programmatic and open market and direct uh, advertising, which is obviously um, a, still a huge focus, but how are we also mixing that with making sure that we offer a brand safe and premium environment for our advertisers? Uh, and by doing that, we really focus on the person and what they're doing and how they're interacting with our brands. And when we've been doing that and running these campaigns, we found that 58 times more people 
uh, love as a reaction on our campaigns. Over 339 laugh or ha-has in, uh, in the social realm, and 69 times like, more likely uh, to actually share that content uh, online. So this, again, just shows the power of our brands and how making content specifically for those audiences genuinely drives results. And these compare actually to if an advertiser posts their own social post without actually partnering with us. So they are these times more likely to actually engage the audience than if an advertiser is to just post their social uh, on their own advertising page. Great. And so we're talking a lot about emotion and engagement. Um, and why does that matter? Well, we've seen it actually is important because it's driving brand results. It's driving brand lift. Uh, so we partnered with Realize, which is a leading social uh, or market research company um, that has facial tracking capabilities. So they're actually able to have consumers watch videos and then track the emotions of their face as they watch the video. Um, so they tested our different creative pieces and they found that our branded content drives 62% more positive emotion than a traditional TV spot. Um, we actually have a white paper that's going to be released soon that showed for traditional TV ads, it was pretty flat engagement throughout the spot, whereas for our branded content, which focuses on a narrative, a human interest story, we actually saw engagement grow throughout the video and it peaked at the end. And that's actually where we have really prominent brand placement. So there's definitely a different um, connection with that branded content than with traditional spots. Um, and why does this matter? Well, our content actually lifts favorability. So 57% increase in is my favorite brand after they watched it. And it also lifts purchase intent by 17%. So going back to our storytellers, what kind of content do we make? So obviously we have tons of editorial content. We can also create custom content with your brand as well. And then we also work with clients' own content as well. If it's high quality and it matches our social environment, we definitely uh, work with all of the di these different ad formats and all of these types of content. Um, just to put that into context, again, we have different in-house agencies around the world that we actually work with to make sure that this content is tailored to the market, um, if it's global, who it is that you're trying to reach. Um, at CNN International, over 60% of all of our revenue now comes from branded content. So just to give that as a flavor of sometimes getting into trouble from moving us away from programmatic, it's just really, really important because we need to be brand safe and we need to give these options to be in a premium marketplace. Um, we've also done a lot of different um, research uh, documents and, and thinking about how this is a narrative. And um, we found that over, it's 63% more likely that a brand, uh, a Fortune 500 brand, uh, has more resonation with an audience member uh, if they invoke brand intimacy. So not just having a traditional ad, but actually trying to engage with that human being. Um, we have so many cliches in our, in our industry and so many words that we use. So we try and stay away from the word user. And if you just try and think about your own personal experience, it's how are we trying to get human beings with eyeballs to actually look at this content, right? So not thinking just about users and audiences and metrics, but as a person, what are you doing? And in your own experience, when you go on social platforms or when you're looking to find new content, we try and think in our personal lives, how are we doing that? And then we try and resonate that whilst we're making this content. So really, if you think about the metrics, you know, instead of just looking at clicks and impressions, as Leslie mentioned, it's what is that thumb-stopping content? What are you doing in your lives that you're doing, going about day-to-day -day on digital platforms and something actually makes you stop your thumb over content and want to read with that? And it, hopefully it's some of you as well, but I know that even if something has a dollar behind it, if it's interesting or if it's with a brand that I understand or I like or I follow, then I'm actually likely to hover my thumb over that content, even if I do end up skipping past. And that's really the mentality that we bring when we're partnering, partnering Turner's content studios with Launchpad to be able to create that content and then make sure we're distributing it in the right way. Yes, and just to add to that, um, in terms of the compelling content we create, we have a couple different types. There's editorial, 
Um, so that is a sponsored um, editorial video that might have run already that now an advertiser will carry an advertiser's branding. So an example of that might be a SAG Awards or a sports event. Um, we have custom content, which is content created um, exclusively for the advertiser where they're very integrated into the piece. Um, so you can see in this piece, these are all NBA examples. Um, this one, they're actually drinking a Coca-Cola in the spot. Um, and then we have client content. So in special circumstances, if it's really compelling branded content, we are actually able to run client content as well. And this is, uh, so this is the case study that we mentioned that we worked with Costa Rica Tourism Board recently last year. Um, and this is just a video uh, to kick off the case study and what we're going to delve into. Mm -hmm. Costa Rica is the ideal country for a tropical adventure. Thanks to its lush rainforests, incredible wildlife and pristine beaches, it's no surprise that it regularly tops global rankings for happiness and quality of life. We were tasked with finding a smart way to drive Costa Rica's tourism growth while staying true to the country's unique qualities. So we enlisted the help of neuroscientist and yoga teacher Brittany Fair to show how tourists could access the lifestyle enjoyed by Costa Ricans. Launched with a stunning TV commercial, the campaign explained the science behind well-being while exploring the natural environment and local culture. Costa Rica has a diverse musical heritage, and music has the ability to light up the brain like fireworks. Thought-provoking social posts linked to a bespoke online hub where themes could be discovered in greater detail. Our creative team also enhanced the brand identity and strapline to align the country with the growing wellness tourism market. By focusing on what makes Costa Rica authentically different, we reached new audiences with meaningful content and set the country apart from other destinations. I love that sloth. Yeah, we love the sloth. <laughs> Who doesn't love a sloth? So <laughs> even talking about the sloth, um, that just goes to show how important it is to focus on, again, when you're, if you're smiling, if you're laughing, you know, if you were laughing at the Conan uh, piece earlier, they're all emotion and that's why it's so important and why we keep saying it, because that's genuine and that's what you're trying to do. Uh, and it's so important to realize that that's how we get to these metrics and these KPIs. So we get so focused on what are our KPIs, which ultimately, um, obviously that's where the brand lift is, but how are we actually getting there? And it's by getting reactions like you might do in the room when you're watching these videos and watching this content. So for this particular case study, um, we sent our producers, Create sent our producers to Costa Rica, um, and uh, they really had a mission to not make this just for TV, but not repurposing content. But when they went out, we're multi-platform. We obviously have uh, this campaign running on lots of different places, on digital, on TV as well. But they actually focused in on this is for social, this is for television, this is for digital. And each of these teams had a remit to make those specific types of content. And that's even really key. So it's not about repurposing TV content and putting it on these platforms, but actually thinking independently on these environments and thinking how are these people in this particular area going to resonate with this? versus how they're going to react when they're watching something on television. And that's how the teams are working with this content for Launchpad distribution. Um, and I love this case study. Um, this was actually one of my first campaigns when I joined Launchpad about a year and a half ago. Um, so we were tasked with working with the Create team in London, the, the content studio, to develop this socially optimized video that would air on our social platforms. Um, so one of the things that we learned from our uh, past campaigns is that it's so important to tell a human story. A human interest story is key in getting people to watch your content and then to tune in for more than three seconds, 30 seconds for the whole video. Um, that first opening is very important to get those eyeballs and stop that thumb like Becca was talking about. Um, so we actually recommended they move up the sloth to the very start of the video. Um, I don't know if you've ever seen cute animal videos on social media, anyone? <laughs> <laughs> um, but we had a feeling that that would really um, capture people's attention, and it did. So that helped propel us to 1.5 million views. Um, so just an example of how our learnings from our campaigns really impacted the content. 
Okay, so um, th these are actual, I'm gonna walk you through the process of how we targeted this campaign. Um, so what we did at the start, we obviously had, um, uh, Costa Rica had a target audience. Um, they wanted people who were likely and qualified to travel to Costa Rica. So we dove a little bit deeper. Um, we used our machine learning technology. So we actually have an algorithm that clusters together groups of Twitter followers for Costa Rica based on their shared interests and the way they describe themselves in their biographies. Um, and it comes up with different tribes or segments um, that we can then use to inform our targeting. So in this example, um, we had obviously what you'd expect. We found travel enthusiasts. So you'd expect them to be following Costa Rica tourism on social media. But we had some surprises. So for example, news junkies was a really prominent segment. And it made sense given that we are about to launch a campaign on, on CNN travel. So that was a good fit. Um, we also found environmentalists were following Costa Rica tourism, which did uh, take us aback a little. I mean, we, we hadn't really thought about that segment. So we did end up using it in our targeting. Um, so here's a, a general targeting plan for the campaign. Um, and this is meant to drive the most possible engagement as well as views. So uh, we did reach the demographics for the campaign. It was truly global. So we were targeting um, countries in Europe, Latin America, and North America. Um, and what really set us apart was using our first party data. So these are custom audiences only available to Turner. We're the only ones that can actually target social followers or fans of CNN, Great Big Story, Bleacher Report, or any of our other properties. So we did target CNN travel followers and Great Big Story followers. Um, and that was actually uh, our, one of our top performing audiences. So that group was really crucial in driving engagement. Um, we did go a step further and we actually targeted people who watched travel videos from across our portfolio. So any types of travel video from past campaigns. So again, qualifying this audience to make sure that they're interested in the category. Uh, we do use psychographic targeting. So this is pretty standard interest-based targeting um, on Facebook or YouTube, our platforms. But where we stand apart is really using our insight. Um, so again, we had seen that those environmentalists were comprising some of this, uh, the uh, audience. So we added ecotourism as a target. And that was actually our top performing interest target for this campaign. Um, so it's great for us to use these tools and see how they really um, go back to that original insight. One of the reasons as well why that's so important is we've probably all been in a room, if you're in an agency or if you are the client, and we spend so much time um, at a certain brand and we really get to know and think that our audience might be male 18 to 35 and that's the only people that we want to target. The beauty about social and the beauty about using Launchpad is that you actually sometimes have no idea who your audience is and so when Lizzie talked about being surprised, when you're out in the social world, the audiences that come to you can be from markets that you didn't know, countries that you didn't realize they were actually engaging with your brand, or even looking at competitive sets where you might think that through analysis, that's who you're targeting, but actually it's someone completely different. And we often have surprises um, where people in Korea who are really heavy pop fans might like a certain brand that you would never think had a KPI against them. So working in this space has proved uh, to be kind of a cluster of all of this brand new information for the clients that we work with. And again, that goes back to the fact that it's because it's an emotional connection. So we're focused on what are people doing as an emotional connection with your brands. So with Costa Rica, what we found that this campaign in particular, um, we had 19 times more love reactions than if Costa Rica put their own uh, social post on their own advertiser page and then 21 times uh, so more love reactions and 19 times more emotional reactions than if they just put this social post on their own campaign, uh, campaign wall. And so again, that just goes back to the fact that we've produced this content together. Our teams have really embedded themselves with the client and what they're trying to do um, to both those tribes and those users that they don't know about or that they do know about and how we mix that together with this data. 
So um, in the past year or so, uh, we rolled out our Latin American campaigns last year. Um, we've delivered 36 campaigns. You can see we have uh, just a sampling of our uh, partners here. They do span different ad categories and industries. Um, and something to note, we also do um, have campaigns across our whole Latin America Turner portfolio. So that includes Cartoon Network, Esporte Interactivo, TNT Sports, CNN International, um, Space, Warner Channel, so really a variety of different campaigns, um, everything from award shows and sports events to that custom content like you just saw here. And our sloth was award winning, which is very exciting. <laughs> so we won an award at the International uh, Tourism Board and also a Golden Gate Award at ITB Berlin recently. Awesome. All right, well, thank, thank you. you so much. Um, <laughs> You don't escape that easy. Come on, our first double acts and, and the busiest room so far. I've been watching the we pictures do of my, my fellow <laughs> hosts. Thank you. I wasn't, I wasn't trying to say that, but wait there, here we go. So, does anyone have any questions? I know the coffee break is five minutes away, but we do have okay. some. Here we go. Thank you. That's great, Thank uh, you. the presentation. I have a qu uh, question. You mentioned earlier that, uh, uh, you know, traditionally in the, in, the, in the past days or the past years, uh, we repurpose content for social media. Do you have a case or a, a case of study where you start producing from the the minimum expression, which is social media, and you take it successfully, but thinking first mm -hmm. on social media and then inserted that content into TV? Sure. So media. we have a property called Great Big Story, which really it's an offshoot of CNN, but it focuses on telling very inspiring human interest stories, um, and it's really a social first property. So most. All of the content is distributed on social, and it's really created with that social mindset. Um, so we've actually had campaigns, um, like we had one for Mass Mutual in the US, um, where it was all about people helping other people. So each of the videos focused on someone in their community um, who was helping, like there was a group of bikers who was helping a bullied child. So very interesting stories. Um, and that culminated in a live ad campaign on CNN for New Year's Eve. So we took the learnings that we had from the social videos and used them to inform the content of the TV spot. Great. And any more questions out there, guys? OK, well, I was wow. going to put in a plug. We will be available for drinks if <laughs> yes. you I wanted to ask <laughs> yes. a question yes. later. Courte <laughs> courtesy of Spotify, they will yeah. be available for drinks. <laughs> um, and also, if anyone, nothing to do with these two, but if anyone has put their card into the Cancun cards pot, we're about to announce the winner of the oh. VIP <laughs> holiday to that. Mexico <laughs> out in the networking area. But I suggest you get your coffee. We've still got two sessions to go after this break from 4.30. So we have a session all around TV and live engagement. And then we also have a session on programmatic and creative Activity. Obviously, there are other zones to go to, but I want to keep this vibe going in here. We are definitely the best, the best room in here so far. Give yourself a round of applause. Woo!